Hey everyone, this is Dominique from Sonos, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add your music library. In just a couple clicks, we'll get your system set up so it can play your music library collection from your computer throughout your home. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do this on a Mac, but don't worry if you have a Windows computer, the steps are very similar, and I'll call out the differences along the way. Before we begin, make sure to have your Sonos controller installed on your computer that contains your music library files. You can click a link in the description below this video to download the controller. First, you'll go to the toolbar at the top of the screen where the Sonos controller options are located. You'll click Manage, then Music Library Settings. On a Windows computer, you'd see the options at the top of the Sonos controller. Once the Preference window opens, you'll click the plus sign. On a Windows computer, you would click Add. You'll then have to tell Sonos where you store your music. If you use iTunes, or you're not sure, you can most likely leave the first option selected. If you know your music files are located outside of your music folder, go down in the description below the video for further details on how to add those music files. In order for Sonos to be able to play your music from your computer, file sharing settings need to be accessed. To do this, click the lock, enter your Mac computer's password, and click OK. On the next screen, Sonos will ask permission to adjust the sleep settings on your computer. This will make sure your computer doesn't go to sleep while Sonos is playing music from your computer's hard drive. Click Next. On a Windows computer, you'll see a similar screen with two checkboxes that are already selected. Just click Next. You may also encounter a screen asking you to give Sonos permission to make these changes. Click Yes. Depending on the size of your music library, it could take from a few seconds and up to 10 to 15 minutes to completely update and index your music library. So don't worry if it takes longer than this. Once the music library has been added, you'll get a confirmation that music is now set up on your Sonos system. Click Done. Go ahead and exit the preference window on the Sonos controller. Once you're back in the Sonos controller and you want to listen to your music, click Music Library. This is where you can browse by artists, albums, composer, genre, track, imported playlists, and folders. You'll find all of your iTunes playlists, as well as playlists you've created in other music management apps, under the Imported Playlist section. It's also possible to add multiple music libraries to the system. So if you have different computers in your home with different music, those can be added as well. To do so, download the Sonos controller on that particular computer and repeat the same process we just went through. If you add music to your computer and want to see it in your Sonos music library right away, you need to manually update your music library. Just go back to your Sonos toolbar and click Manage, then Update Music Library Now. This will re-index and scan your computer for any new music you may have recently added. You can also set up your Sonos system to scan and update your music library every day just in case you like to add music often. To do so, you'd go to Manage, then Music Library Settings, and click the Advanced tab. Here you'll check Library Updates, then set the time you want the system to update. If you have any further questions, make sure to check the description below for some great articles that may be helpful. Or you can visit our support site at support.sonos.com. This is Dominique with Sonos signing off.